Hey, hey guys, it's Josh. Um, so I literally just woke up and I saw this Marvel Studios announcement. I figure, ah, crap, I gotta react to that. So yeah, we're gonna be reacting to whatever the heck this Marvel Studios announcement is. Um, uh, I've been trying to figure out like what the hell it is. Apparently, um, it's either a teaser tra it's either a teaser trailer for something. Um, probably for Eternals. <laughs> Um, if for Eternals, or I also saw it came with a lot of some dates. Um, so we got titles for um, Black Panther, um, Black Panther Two, which is going to be titled Wakanda Forever. Um, and then we also have titles for Captain Marvel Two, which is going to be called The Marvels. Which okay, all right. And then um, and then we also have a date for um, Ant Man the Wa Ant Man the Wasp Three. So. So I think it's also just gonna be that, but either way, I'm 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 obviously down. But yeah, also um I I also want to kind of give an update on where I'm channel. Um, so I know I keep I know it seems like I'm doing like sporadic videos lately. Um, mainly because of school, but school. Um, I'm almost done with school. I got a month left. Afterwards, we're gonna head straight into Rick and Morty. Um, straight into potentially finishing Gravity Falls whenever the fuck I'm gonna finish that because I need to. I need to get back into that, and then finishing up GOT, because I got some GOT stuff lined up, I got that edit, filmed and edited, I just need to kind of just um, get that released, so yeah, but before we uh, jump into the Marvel thing, everyone make sure to take, um, make sure to like and comment and subscribe, also click the notification bell, so that way you know what video is coming out, also check out my Patreon, where if you're $1 uh, tier, you get early access to videos, and if you're a $3 tier, you get um, unedited, I unedited access to videos, meaning you get to see the video in full. So, yeah, let's jump into this, shall we? Two and one. I love being hey, with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. What are you doing? Oh, oh this hugs. is nice. I miss hugs. That world may change and evolve. But the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big family. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. Higher, further, faster, baby. That's right. We're all part of one uh, universe. Wakanda forever! That moves mm. ever upward and onward to mm. greater glory. <laughs> On your left. <laughs> And I 
will be seeing you at the movies as well, Marvel. Yep, I will definitely be seeing you at the movies as well, Marvel. So, yeah, um, obviously, you know, the years are about to be reopened. I've seen Guys Love vs. Kong. Nobody went to a re-release Scott Pilgrim. So, yeah, no, I'll be going back to the movies and follow for uh, Black Widow in July. Um, I'm still... I'm still perplexed of why, and I have a feeling this was probably a Disney decision and a Marvel decision, but I'm still perplexed why we got, why Black Widow was pushed back. I mean, I, I get why, but at the same time, though, especially if you're going to do, like, the half and half, uh, the streaming release, um, if you're going to do the streaming release stuff, um, the side-by-side -side streaming release stuff, then I would have just put it in early, early May. I, I still am perplexed by that decision. It's a decision I don't think makes sense, especially given that Godzilla vs. Kong had made bank, um, Mortal Kombat had made some money as well. And it seems like, and from what I've been able to observe, especially from the times I've gone to theaters, which I probably, which since it's been reopened, I've been going at least once a week. Um, twice, twice if not so. It seems like people are ready to go back to movies, so I don't understand that. That being said, though, it was nice to it just it was nice to see more footage from um Black Widow saying she Eternals, which um look, if this is the only thing we're gonna get Eternals for a while, then um because you know we Marvel has to do two other movies they need to promote, then I will take whatever I can get. Um I just I, I just just one thing, Feige. When you have that movie released, um or at least the trailer released, make sure that it comes with from Academy Award winner Chloe Zhao. I, I just want that. Just 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 give me that one thing. But yeah, no, I I really do. I mean, I know there I know there's probably a lot of people that um probably have gone out to the Marvel movies and probably binge a lot of the Marvel movies during the pandemic and during the pandemic and like have not seen them in theaters. Um and if you haven't, when the next Marvel movie comes out, whether it be Black Widow or Song Chi or Eternals, go see them in theaters. Because they are an experience. They are a delightful experience that you that just you have fun with them you have fun and you know it's it's just nice like going you know having that communal experience i know some people don't like the movies and some people have issues with going to movies but for me like the movies are my safe space they are my comfort zone they are like a home away from home sort of a like just you know i feel the most safe there i feel just just most safe and just you know it's it's a comfort blanket and so I'm very much thankful that, you know, the theaters are now starting to reopen after a year without them. Because, not gonna lie, it kind of fucked with my sanity. But I think it kind of fucked with everyone's sanity. But yeah. As for the interview, but yeah, no. I just, yeah. If you like your action, you should comment down below in the comment section. Also, subscribe. My name is Josh. I'll see you in the next Peace.